I almost always disclose my HIV status. Um, there have been a few times when, um, if I feel that this isn't really going to go anywhere, if I think it's just going to be a one-time thing, um, I tend to, um, you know, otherwise I, but I almost always tend to tell people because it's just something that um, I know how things can get and if things start to go a little, um, get more passionate or whatever, then um, I thought um, I don't actually want to, um, you know, have to disclose it um, in the middle of, in, you know, in the midst of passion. So I tend to do that. Um, it's interesting. Um, I think with all the new developments, PrEP, undetectable viral loads, um, I think it's a different conversation. Um, I also think, I've always thought actually that it should be um, the other person's um, interest and responsibility to also act, ask if they're concerned about it. Um, but for the most part, you know, I've had a very high profile community work um, doing speaking engagements and I've been involved in a couple of video projects and so a lot of times people already know my HIV status and it still um, amazes me how, um, <laughs> the throngs of passion, how far people are willing to go and, um, you know, sometimes I even tell people, it's like, you know, if it gets to this point, you know, and you want to do this, I'm not going to stop you. So make sure that you're comfortable with it. And it's, for the most part, worked out okay. Um, yeah, okay.